and be separate. You are a holy people. A holy people means you are separate from all these other nations. You're separate from the Chinese man. You're separate from the white man. That's right. You're separate from the East Indian man. Right. You're God's chosen people. God. You're separate from the Arab. Right. All these people who come in our communities and get rich and wealthy of our people. While we don't have no businesses, no stores, and we give all our wealth to them. You gotta come out of them and start building our own nations by coming to the law of statutes and commandments of the Most High God. And with that, I want to say a hearty and healthy, in our language, we say peace, and we say Shalom. 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 All praises. Shalom, Shalom. Who are we? We are the Hebrew Israelites. We are the children of the book. We are the ones that came over here on the slave ships and were scattered about and had everything taken from us. What's going on, Satan? I'm not, I'm not well, I'm sure you're representing him, King. No, I, I, was, only uh, here, I was only here respectfully. Shaking okay, hands. well, I can respectfully. I, 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 I can respectfully. Uh, Excuse me, sir, I'll, I'll let you finish. Well, well, hold on, I got the mic, and you don't run a damn thing here. Uh, no, well, well, okay. So no, no, let's let's stop. understand that. So this was All right. Oh, well, let me finish. Let me finish yeah, speaking. Well, if you, you are who you represent. You see what I represent here? I was here to shake your hand. Oh, well, I don't shake another, hands. Another that, that's an upside down cross and a six six six. Yes, with Apostle Peter himself. Uh, was crucified upside He was down. crucified on it. He yes. didn't wear it around upside his shirt. Down. First off, that's yeah. a graven image, and we don't wear graven okay. images. Okay. You understand? I'm, I'm why would I wear something that my ancestor, if, if my ancestor got killed with an electric chair, why would I wear it? No, because I'm up here and I'm doing this. You're here to be disruptive. Okay, all right. So what what, what, what do you got to talk about? I came here to shake your hand. I, I'm not shaking your hand, kid. I'm not shaking your hand, but you know what? I will talk to you. You can speak. I'm taking your word and I'm listening. What's your nationality, King? I'm half, half Caribbean, half white. Half Caribbean? Who's your father? Uh, but Barbadian. So your father's Barbadian? Yes. So look where you are on that side. What's yeah, that say? Where? Where? You're, where? You're, where? You're, you're, you're from the West Indies, bro. Yeah. Well, look on this side. This side, this West Indies. What's next? This is the biblical. Okay, uh, slave, this is what, what, what we've been called. Right, the slave trade. This I know is about what. The slave we, trade. I know excuse me, brother. You don't know this. We know about the slave trade, but you don't know that the Israelites were in the slave trade. You don't know that. Okay, you don't know that these were the names before we got off them auction blocks yes, and got yes, sold. Yes. Okay, so I'm showing you your history, sir. I agree. I know my I'm history. So, so, so how you know? What, where you from? What tribe you from? I don't Did know you know you were his? Oh, well, that's was. why I'm here showing you. Oh, I know where my family is from. All right, sir. and I and I got you. But you know what? Like I said, now that the truth is coming out, you are a Benjamin. You are from the tribe of Benjamin because your family's from the West Indians. Who's threatening you? 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 Who's threatening Chapter 13, he, verse he, he 16. This one right here. And he called us all, both small and great, rich and poor, rich and poor, read it. Free and bond, free and bond, come on. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Receive a mark in their right hand and their forehead. Okay? So, hold on, hold on, one second. Hold on, one second, one second. We're watching it. Read that again. Let the scriptures go. It's the book of Revelation. Chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls us all, both small and great. And he calls all, both small and great. Come on. Rich and poor. Rich and poor. Come on. Free and bond. Free and bond. Come on. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So to receive a mark in their right hand or they, and their forehead. So when we see 666, we know what it represents in the Bible. It's the Antichrist. Let's not play no games. 666 represents the Antichrist. Any Christian can tell you that. Read on. And that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him 
that had understanding. So we have wisdom and we have knowledge. So that's why the brother said we ain't playing no games here. That's right. When you roll up with 666, six, six, we ain't playing no games. We know what you're about. You're about Anton LeVay. You're about Satanism. The Bible of Satan. The Satanic Bible. It has no power. No. But listen. But you're dealing with 666, brother. You're dealing with 666. You're dealing with the Antichrist. So we're not here to play no games. Read on. I want to understand Count the number of the beast. Count the number of the beast. Come on. For it is the number of a man. It is the number of a man. Come on. And his number is 603 score and six. 603 scores and six. Six, six, six. Okay, so we know what you deal with. We know you don't believe in Christ. You can shake our hand. It's all good. Okay. But you're dealing with anti LeVay. We know what you're dealing with. You're dealing with the Church of Satan, brother. We know what you're dealing with. We're not here playing no game. We know about the anti LeVay. We know about the Satanic Bible. We know what you're dealing with. So listen, but that don't mean we hate you, brother. That don't mean we hate you. But, but you got to repent, brother. Because that 666 is the beast. It's the beastly system, brother. So listen, listen. Christ says as many people as he loved, he rebuked. He told them the truth. Love is telling people the truth, too. Love is not just saying I love you, brother. But love is telling you the truth. You wearing a 666 tattoo, man. You dealing with the Antichrist and the Satan. It's not disrespectful. This whole government is 666. From Donald Joe Biden, the whole white race is 666. So we here to teach you the truth, man, because it's a number of a man. And who's the number of the man? The so-called white man. That's the number of the man. He fits the category of the great red dragon that John the Revelator spoke about. So he's a 666. Woo, hey! Shalom, shalom. Thank you, Elder. All right. With that said, I'm going to get into my lesson. We're going to start off with John 832. And then you give me um, Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. And let's start off with, with, the, with the blessing. Okay. Uh, everybody heard that controversy that's been going on. Uh, if you notice, the Most High has been keeping it in the news that we are the true children of Israel. That's right. The Most High is doing that for a reason, but you got these, uh, these, uh, no, I'm good. You got, you got these actors out here who are sitting up there learning things undercover, and then when they get pressed by their oppressor, the so-called Jewish man, they fold. Then they gotta go on Jewish classes, Hebrew classes like they little kids. When they, when they know that they found out the truth, when they did the research, they know who we are. You, they know who we are. You understand? So read, read that verse for me. It's the book of St. John. Chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it up. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. See, there it is. That's why we ain't wasting no time with you. Right. You, 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 you walking with the goddamn devil right next to you. We know who you are. That's why you're going to get burned with nuclear fire, bro. You don't want nothing up here. The word cut you and made you move. Ain't nobody playing games yeah, with you, young man. His spirit was kind of, his spirit was All right, so you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's, That's right. what you get for messing with that goddamn devil on your arm. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. Oh. She bewitched your ass. That's right. Uh-huh. See you later, Satan. Precept. <laughs> Precept. This is the book of Cyrus. Chapter out. 12, verse 10 and 11. Bring it out. Never trust thy enemy. Number one. Never trust thy enemy. No, your friend. Of that goddamn devil. That's right. Never for as like, enemy. For as like yeah. iron rusts, so does his wickedness. Yeah. Yeah. like what? So as yeah. iron rusts, so is his wickedness. And we all know that iron is built to rust. So just like iron rusts, so is his wickedness. Meaning, you can't trust that enemy of yours. He's not your friend. Does friend put crack in your neighborhood? No. Huh? No. Does a friend have the Tuskegee air? air? Uh, uh, syphilis thing on you? Eugenics. Eugenics? Does 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 your friend do all of that? Huh? It's time for you people to wake up. And smell the coffee. Right. You have an enemy. You, everybody knows he's your enemy, but you. 
You want to sit up there and kumbaya with your enemy, but your enemy is steady giving it to you through the laws, through everything. He's steady destroying you. He's putting stuff in your neighborhood, and you don't care because you want to love your enemy. That's called Stockholm Syndrome, damn it. Bring it out, huh? Stockholm Syndrome. Let's wake up. All right, let's go. I want to get... Yeah, I, I want to show and prove to you that you are the children of Israel. Yeah, we're going to start with Deuteronomy 28. Bring that out. Bring that out. What you got? Hey, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. You see, if we would have just been obedient, we would have been sitting on all, we would be up on top. We would be the ones running these casinos. Right. We would be the ones running all these businesses. We would be the ones with all the businesses in your neighborhood. Instead of having every nation but your own rule over you in your own neighborhood. We would be the ones doing that. Now. Go to 15. It said, if you don't hark, if you hearken unto the uh, voice of the Lord our God and do his law, statutes, and commandments, you will be put on high. You will be put on high. God, you will be put on high. But if you don't, there's a stipulation. Let's go to 15, please. Bring it out. Uh, 28, 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yes, that says that if you disobey the Most High God, then all of these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Give, give me that next verse. Curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall thou be in the city. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Now, I'm from up North Jersey, but it doesn't matter where we go. I'm from North East Orange area. Doesn't matter where we go in the United States of America. Every city that you see black folks in, it's cursed. There ain't nothing going on on there but rats, roaches, drug dealing, gang banging, all of that. That is a curse and it overtakes thee. That's right. It's not something that we want. What do you think, that we want to live next to all of that? Most of us are law-abiding citizens. Right. But why? I always used to ask myself, why? Why is this happening to us? Why? And then biblically I found out. Precept, precept. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 26 and verse 15. Bring it out. And if ye shall despise my statutes, or if, or if your soul arbor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I will also do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning ague, and the burning ag that shall consume the eyes, and cause sorrow of the heart, and ye shall so your enemies shall eat it. That's God. I got another speaker if y'all need it with a mic. I got it in my book bag. Is it off? Hey, y'all. Let me get it. It says that we will be cursed because we don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, which He gave unto us. When Moses came off the mount, he gave us these stipulations to be his people. Twenty-eight. We're gonna go. To, okay, twenty-eight thirty. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse thirty. Bring it out. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. That's your what? Another man shall lie with her. Uh huh. Thou shalt build a house. And thou shalt not dwell therein. Did you build a house out there on the field? Did you build master's house? Huh? Did the master come and sleep with your wife? And there was not no might in your hand to deal with it? Did that happen to you? These are the curses. 
Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. Thou but shalt beget daughters and sons, and thou shalt not enjoy them. Did that not happen to you when you were in slavery? Is that not happening to the Latino man now? Are they not taking your children at the border and putting them in cages like animals? Is that not happening to you right now, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Is that not happening to you? I'm worried about that. Hold your face all you want, you going into slavery. Right. Now, bring out that next song. Shalom, shalom. Here we go. Yeah. All right, we back, we back, baby. All right. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. You shall serve your enemy in hunger. Do you own the supermarkets? Do you? Do you own the supermarkets where you buy your food? In first. Don't you got a water bill? Even if you didn't have a water bill, you can't trust that water. So you go out and buy water. In want of all things, when you have to go to the doctors, who do you go to? Your enemies. That's why he can put these plagues on you. That's why he can put these abortion clinics in your place. Bring it out. Huh? It's your enemy. When you got to go to uh, uh, educate your children, educate yourself, who do you got to go to? You have to go to your enemy. You have to go to your enemy in want of all things. Breathe. And he shall put a yoke of iron. He shall what? what it? Shall put a yoke of iron. He shall do what? Shall put a yoke of iron. No, he shall put a gold chain around your neck. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Do you know what destroyed means? Okay, let's go into it. Let's go into an elephant. Huh? When that baby elephant he is, is a baby, they start putting that thing around his, around his leg. They start training him that he's not the strongest beast on the earth. So then when he's old, he forgets he's the strongest beast on earth. So he thinks that little chain can stop him. Well, that's what happened to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We forgot that, that we are the strongest man on earth. We forgot that we are the strongest women and children on earth. We forgot. So therefore, they don't have to have those chains around your neck no more. They can just tell you what's going on. They can make you do it because they got you mentally now. Huh? They don't have to use physical chains anymore. What we got next here, brother? Yes, you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. You are the most powerful people on earth. Why do you think they go through much trouble? to do these things to you, in your community, in everything. They have us fighting against each other because they know we need y'all. We are Judah, y'all are Ephraim, y'all are the bow. We are the bow, y'all are the arrow. Together we destroy. They know, that's why they keep us apart. You got me now? They know, that's why they keep us destroyed. That's how they keep us apart. They tell you you're Puerto Rican. They tell you you're Dominican. They tell my brothers you're Haitian and y'all should hate each other. We are the same damn people. That makes no sense. That's like South Italy fighting North Italy. You're the same people. Read. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Bring it out. Yay. All Israel have transgressed thy law. Okay, all Israel has transgressed the Most High's law. That's why we were dealing in the curses just now. Read. Even by departing that they may not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Therefore what? 
The curse is poured upon us. The curses of Deuteronomy 28. All the curses, therefore, are put on the children of Israel, and that's how you know who we are. None of these curses went on that so-called Jewish man. Right. Huh? How is he the Jew? How is he? Hold on, hold on, wait. Let's let's just talk real here. Okay? How is that man the, the real Jew and he's burning up over there in, in, in Israel? When you're indigenous to something, that means you belong. Why is he dying of skin cancer? Huh? How can he have fled into Africa and build pyramids? Let's choose some common sense here. He never went on the slave train. He never was sold. Let's connect the dots, black people. Read. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. The oath. The oath is what? The law, statutes, and commandments. The oath is the laws, statutes, and commandments. The same ones in Deuteronomy 28 that our ancestors said and made that oath that they would follow. Read. And he hath confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. Bringing upon us what? A great evil. What did he bring upon us for breaking those laws, statutes, and commandments? A great evil. He brought a great evil evil upon his people for under the whole heaven under what under the whole heaven wait a minute wait a minute before he finishes that what is heaven it's under the earth it's under the skies it's under the air okay under the heavens what happened has not been done as has been done upon jerusalem okay under the whole heavens none of these curses came upon anybody but the children of Israel. That's how you know. That's how you know who we are. This Bible is speaking to you, brother. This Bible is speaking to you, sister. This Bible is speaking to you. It's telling you who you are. You need to be rejoicing because for many years you didn't think you belonged in this Bible and now you find out this Bible is yours. Right. I want to go to Deuteronomy um, 28:68. Let's go. Under this, under the whole heavens, this didn't happen to anybody but Israel. You got a king? Didn't happen to nobody. 68. 2868. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord shall bring you into Egypt. What is Egypt? Egypt means uh, slavery. It means Exodus what? Exodus 20 and 2. Okay. He said he will bring you into Egypt. What is Egypt? It's slavery. It's bondage. The Most High said, I will bring you back into Egypt. Again with ships. With what? With ships. So he said he will bring the Israelites back into slavery with ships. When you go into Daniel, it says that this didn't happen but unto the children of Israel under the whole heavens. Yeah. Let's get it together, black people. Yeah. You are the Israelites. That's why they hate you. That's why in your downtrodden state, you still... Our king, you still walk like a queen. They make billions off of you. How come they can't go to Africa and just pluck one dude with all of those blacks over there and then come over and make billions? There's a reason why he makes billions off of you. Huh? Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see your homeland never again. And what? Amen. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And when you get off those slave ships, you shall be sold unto your enemy. Not your friend. Right. Not your friend. Right. Huh? Kumbaya. Let's be with our friend. 
Why your friend is steady putting drugs in your neighborhood? Your steady, your, your friend is steady aborting, putting abortion clinics in your neighborhood. Your okay. friend is steady poisoning you. Your friend sold your babies to alligators. Right. And he's your friend. You lost your mind. If he's your friend, what do you consider an enemy? Finish reading that. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And no man shall redeem you. Jesse Jackson couldn't redeem you. Bring it out. Martin Luther King couldn't redeem you. Bring it out. None of, none of the civil rights leaders can redeem you. Can you get the group 21? Uh, 20? Yeah, we'll be running uh, None of them can redeem you. Only one can redeem you, and that's the Mashiach Yahweh Shah. That's right. That's it. This Bible is you. This is all about you. Precept. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Huh? He's the Lord thy God that brought us out of Egypt, the house of bondage. And in Deuteronomy 28, what we just read, he said we will go back into bondage, into Egypt by slave ships. That's right. And there we will be sold as bond women and bond men. And then when you go into Daniel, what's it say? This has happened to nobody but the children of Israel under the heavens. That's called connecting the dots, sense of reasoning. Can you reason with that? Please, sir. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 7. Remember the days of old. Uh -huh. Consider the years of many generations. Uh -huh. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. Uh -huh. When the Most High divided